Howdy, welcome back to the Big Blue Workshop. A uh, little bit about me, I grew up not playing board games and card games and all that. My wife's family, however, loves card games, specifically Uno. Uh, one of the things about Uno is you end up with a lot of cards sometimes, uh, especially the way they play. And if you're holding a bunch of cards, you can't reach all of them. My 76 year old mother-in-law can't really hang on to all the cards in her hands. So a buddy of mine showed me a card holder. It's basically a one by three that has three tilted slots in it and you can hold all your game cards. Um, you can see all of them as you're looking and they're stair steps. So I'm gonna build a set like that today. Take a look, let me know what you think, click subscribe and uh, shoot me a comment down below. Tell me what you think about it. Have fun watching. Here's a look at the finished product. I started by putting a stop block on my miter saw and cutting my boards into one foot sections. Uh, I even was nice enough to run my dust collection so that I wasn't sucking in oak dust through the whole project. I figured 15 degrees was a good starting point. When I ran a test and actually set a card in the test piece, it felt like it leaned a little too far back. So I changed my setting down to 10 degrees, made it a little more shallow. And once I ran that test piece, I actually ran that one all the way through the saw and uh, put the cards in it. And it seemed to be a good fit for the, the tilt that I wanted on the cards. <laughs> I wanted the cards to look stair-stepped as they were sitting in the channels, so I cut the first channel fairly deep, and then I progressively made each channel shallower as I cut. They're about five-eighths of an inch apart on the board, so you've got enough space between the cards and enough stair-step so you can see at least the top of each card. I think I got the last channel, the shallowest, and once I put the cards in to test them, I think they fit exactly like I had hoped. I can't have my guests complaining about sharp corners, so of course I ran all these through my router table. I put, I think it's a 3 8 inch roundover bit on there, and uh, ran a little test piece, and then ran each piece through, and got it nice and clean. After the first pass, I realized that I didn't have my dust collection set up properly, so I had to move my fence and adjust my uh, gap so that I could collect the dust. The final step was to take a finished sander with some 220 grit sandpaper and just clean up everything else. I uh, think the wood was pretty clean coming out of the home center since it was already cut to dimension but uh, a little uh, ease over on the bottom edges never hurt after running sandpaper through each channel and spraying a coat of clear gloss on them i think they turned out pretty cool even the grandparents liked them so quite possibly one of the simplest things i've built in this shop but it was one of the most welcome projects I've brought to the card table in a while. Uh, if you want to make one, it's it's real simple. The uh, uh, Oak 1x3 is available in 10 foot sections at the home center. So uh, give it a shot, see what you think. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.